Rami Malek's Bohemian Rhapsody scored five Oscar nods and crossed $800 million at the box office. So, are we going to see more musical biopics in theaters this year? Plus, Ariana Grande's new single is breaking all streaming records already, but not without some controversy. Here to break down both of these stories is iHeartRadio ambassador Patrick Langlois. Good morning to you. Good morning, Anne-Marie. Bohemian Rhapsody getting a lot of love. So if you happen to be a fan of musical biopics, I know you're one, there are a lot of movies coming out this year, including one that's star, uh, starring, starting with one, sorry, that features Aretha Franklin. That's right. That is the latest uh, biopic to get a green light. Just last week, it was announced. Uh, obviously, we lost Aretha Franklin late, late last August, uh, but not before she personally chose who was going to be playing her in the movie. And uh, that role goes to Jennifer Hudson from Dreamgirls. Uh, oh, cool. We also now have a director, Liesl Tommy, who uh, was nominated for a Tony Award for directing the 2016 Broadway play uh, Eclipse, starring Lupita Nyong'o, is the one directing this biopic. So now we have a lead actress, we have a director, we have a script. All we're missing is a release date. Oh, and I cannot wait to hear that music again. All right, Elton John, also on that list. And that one has a release date. May 31st this year is when we get to see Rocket Man, uh, set in the 70s. Uh, this is dubbed the true fantasy story of Elton John uh, transforming from just an average Joe songwriter into the musical phenomenon that we know today. It follows uh, his early days as a prodigy at the Royal Academy of Music in the UK uh, to his eventual music partnership with Bernie Taupin, uh, with whom he forms probably one of the most prolific uh, singer-songwriter duos in music history. Uh, uh, this one w went through a bunch of different directors and actors. Finally, they cast Taron Egerton in July 2017. And if you've seen these pictures, uh, he really, really, really looks like Elton John in the 70s. So cannot wait to see that one. All right, the next one based on a memoir on Motley Crue. That's right. The book came out in 2001. And whether you like Motley Crue's heavy music <laughs> or not, trust me, this is a book that you want to read. It is such a roller coaster ride. You, you've heard the expression sex, drugs, and rock and roll. That book and their story really, really <laughs> uh, personifies that expression. Now, if you don't want to take the time to read the book, well, uh, get into theaters March 22nd, 2019. Uh, the movie comes out. It has rapper Machine Gun Kelly as Tommy Lee. And if it's half as entertaining as the book, it's going to be an amazing movie. Journey's lead singer also getting a movie. Yeah, uh, if anyone has a real-life Cinderella story, well, uh, look no further than Arnold Pineda. He was the guy who was found on YouTube singing Journey songs. The band saw him and said, man, this guy can really rock to our tunes. He eventually became the lead singer of Journey's uh, return back to the stage. Uh, no one has been cast yet to play Pineda, although we know that uh, the movie is going to be directed by John Chu, who directed Crazy Rich Asians. He's a long, uh, long-time Journey fan, and so he's already signed on to this project. All right, speaking of music and movies, everybody loves Julie Andrews, these are a few of my favorite things. Ariana Grande is cashing in on this song. It's not everybody's favorite thing. What's the controversy here? Uh, well, the, the first part of that story is that, yes, she's breaking streaming records. Now, mind you, these streaming records are going to be rolling records. More and more people are getting onto these streaming platforms. My 75-year-old father just switched to streaming, and so <laughs> as more people get on these platforms, more people are listening, and the records are going to keep getting broken. But right now, the song that has been the most listened to in a 24-hour period is Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. And just a few days after its release, uh, already people are saying that she knocked it off. Princess Nokia says that she copied the lyrics and her flow. We don't even know who Princess Nokia was uh, a couple days ago. And then rappers Soulja Boy and 2 Chains have called out Grande for allegedly ripping off their work as well. And then uh, Grande came under fire on Twitter for appropriating black culture. She uh, posted an Instagram story where a fan quoted the lyrics to the song that goes, you like my hair? Gee, thanks, just bought it. The fan then goes to say sarcastically, White women talking about their weaves is how we're going to solve racism. Now, Ariana Grande posted this on Instagram. Then she deleted it. Then she apologized. Uh, to me, it's not, not a huge controversy, uh, but, but, but it is uh, having people talk about the song more and more, which is probably leading to more streams, which is probably making the estates of two gentlemen very happy. Richard Rogers and uh, Oscar <laughs> Hammerstein, who wrote the initial song, mm -hmm. are listed as songwriters. And it's not the first time that they, uh, that they get used. Uh, Outcast has sampled The Sound of Music. Uh, Christina Aguilera has, sa has sampled The Sound of Music. Uh, Gwen Stefani as well. So it's just making those two guys' estate uh, much richer. Thanks so much, Patrick. Thank you.